Uh, the new product we have coming out is uh, Secure Mode or Secure Mode Access. Secure Mode is uh, it consists of three parts that are naturally uh, part of the same problem. If you are remoting into a workstation or server, why would you do that? There, there are some there are different scenarios. One would be that uh, I just need to log into a server without anyone uh, else being involved. I need to service it. Then you can break that down to two scenarios where it's an internal uh, system administrator that needs to do that. Uh, it could also be an external consultant that needs to do that. So it needs to provide a, a secure way of, of doing that. The third scenario in the product is when you need to share uh, screens with uh, an end user. They could create a service now ticket and then uh, someone needs to help them. Uh, then they go, uh, they create this ticket and then uh, they do a screen sharing and everything we have uh, is being invoked like uh, integrations, uh, video recording, there's no one that does compliance as, as well as we do. So we have all the, the flows in, uh, in place. And because we have full support for SSO, Entra ID, Okta and so on, we can manage that part of it. We integrate into ServiceNow or Teams or whatever you need to integrate into. And then there's the, uh, the, the hacking part. So what we do is that we have all is being managed in the browser. So there's no physical contact between the endpoint and the device that you are managing. That means that there's absolutely no way that you can be infected, even though that the, uh, the endpoint you might be using to, to manage the, the server with. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely safe. It's not like with VPN where you actually, you need to trust the device that is VPNing into your environment. You don't need to trust anything here because, well, there's no connectivity there. Mm -hmm.